Well, the happiest place on earth may not be the happiest place to work, and that's because some people who work there say they are struggling to make ends meet. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live in Anaheim, where several Disney unions met to discuss wages tonight. Stacy. Yeah, there was a huge meeting tonight. Peter Hundred showed up. It was heated, and they were chanting, demanding to be paid a livable wage. I make 11.80. I make 11.68 an hour. My wage is only 15.70. Since 2008, I've only got a dollar 60 in raises. Disneyland employees we spoke with tonight have had enough. Those days are over. <laughs> Workers represented by a dozen unions in the park say as Disneyland's profits and ticket prices go up, so do local rents. But their wages remain unlivable. I am on food stamps. Um, I have a lot of health problems and I can't even afford the medical insurance that they have us do weekly out of our checks. Tara Quint, who works overnights cleaning the park, says she can only make her rent because she shares a two-bedroom apartment in Anaheim with three others. I don't know if the people at the top realize the situation. Rebecca Peterson, a licensed cosmetologist, is a makeup artist at Disneyland. I love my job. I love my job so much. But she says the low wages have forced her to live out of her car. I had to choose between my car and a roof, and I said, well, <laughs> my car is my ticket to money. Glendonna Shevlin has worked at Disneyland for 30 years. She was recently living in her car, pictured here, until she says her friends rented her a room. We are going to fight. We are going to stand up. Are you ready? Union representatives encourage workers to demand a wage of $20 an hour. This after a report released by researchers at Occidental College and the Economic Roundtable found that Disneyland Resort employees are paid so little, one in ten employees has experienced homelessness, and two-thirds don't have enough food to eat. Now, Disneyland takes issue with that study. Tonight, they released a statement saying, in part, this inaccurate and unscientific survey was paid for by politically motivated labor unions, and its results are deliberately distorted, and they do not offer uh, the overwhelming majority. They don't represent the overwhelming majority of our 30,000 cast members and how they feel about the company. Disneyland went on to say that the average pay that the average Disneyland worker makes is $37,000 a year. That's the latest from Anaheim. Back to you guys in the studio.